for today's topic, you will have your uh, research design. So for qualitative research designs, there are five main designs, the first five, while there are also other emerging qualitative research designs like historical analysis, content, or discourse analysis. Isa-isahin natin ang mga qualitative research design. As we progress with our discussion, please take note of your research objectives para ma-identify ninyo kung aling qualitative research design ang nababagay sa inyong research study considering your research objective. For you to easily ascertain which research design or qualitative research design is appropriate to use, you may accomplish the following table. Now, moving on. Let's have the first one, case study. Usually, it takes place in the field of social care, nursing, psychology, rehabilitation, and education. It may involve long-time study of a person, group, organization, or situation, or six to find answer, why things occur to the subject, and finding the reason behind such occurrence. Now, if you are going to use case study, the data collection methods could be interview. So for those who are uh, intending to do interview, questionnaires, even observations, and documentary analysis, applicable siya for case study. However, of course, kailangan nating identify kung para saan ba ang case study. Now, here's the feature of using case study. First, if you are dealing with uh, real life, contemporary context or setting, that's a feature of uh, using case study. If you want to identify an in-depth understanding or to have an in-depth understanding of a case, so that could also be continue. The features of a uh, case study are as follows. Of course, uh, look into your research study. Ang inyo bang tinitingnan is uh, within the real life, contemporary context or setting. Is your objective to have an in-depth understanding of a case? Are you going to study an issue? Using a case as a specific illustration, it could also be a multiple case or multi-site or a single case. It could also begin with identification of a specific case bounded by specific parameters. And it might pose intrinsic intention or instrumental intention. Your case study, in case you are planning to use case study, may focus on the chronology or you may have a cross cases or theoretical case. While, make sure that the research intention before you use the case study are the following. You want to produce assertion, you want to identify patterns, you want to identify explanation of each cases, and you want to arrive with a lesson about such case. Now, identify first kung ang inyo bang objective ay pumapasok dito sa aims ng isang case study. You decide sino ba yung magiging source of data kung siya ay case study. Now, case study have different types. It could be intent-based, so based on purpose siya. If it's based on purpose, it could be intrinsic. If you want to further the knowledge in specific case, so let's say may isang case and then gusto nyo ng in-depth understanding pa, so that's intrinsic case, kung intent-based. And kung instrumental case study, ang ibig sabihin nito, your aim is to develop understanding of a bigger case. It means yung case na in-investigate ninyo is just a portion of another bigger case. So that's intent-based. We can also classify case study in terms of size or we can say size-based case study if you will have a single case. So you only have or single person or single uh, observation unit. So magkakaroon lang kayo ng single case study. While for collective multiple case study, it means more than one. So that's as simple as that. Well, we can also classify case study based on site. If we say site, ito yung lugar ng data collection natin. So it could be single site study, kung iisa lang yung logo collect ng data. Or it could also be multiple case study or multiple site case study kung we are going to have our data gathering in more than one site. Next, uh, here's the procedure of uh, doing a case study. Of course, first, uh, determine kung case study ba talaga ang nararapat. And then, identify the most promising intent or size of case. So, going back, ito yung mga intent niya para saan ba pagkakandak ninyo to understand the specific case or to develop understanding of a bigger case. 
And then, yung size of the case, kung single size or uh, collective size ang ating gagamitin. Third uh, part, collect the data from those sources. So, identify ninyo kung sino yung magiging source ninyo. Uh, either document, ang source, archival records, interviews, direct observation, participant observation, and physical artifacts. And then, after collecting the data, you analyze the data holistically or embedded. And then, you provide detailed case description. It could either be within case or in single case or cross case analysis ang ating gagawin. And then, uh, after providing such detail, of course, you report your assertion, the patterns, explanations, and lessons about the case. Remember na yung objective ng ating case study ay to provide assertion, patterns, explanation, and lessons about the case. Now, here are some of the challenges ng paggamit ng case study. So, first, identification is scoping of a case. Yung pagkukulong natin or pagbibigay ng parameters sa kung anong ating observe na case. So, that's one of the challenge kung paano natin ma-identify an inclusion and exclusion criteria. It concerns how you will bound the case. And then, you will be deciding for the case design. And uh, there are instances you might get confused kung ang gagamitin nyo yung single case, baka mamaya hindi pa kayo satisfied sa saturation of data, and then magdadagdag pa kayo ng isa pang case. The problem there is pagdami ng cases, nagiging diluted ang ating analysis or nagiging masyadong malawak, which is not a feature of qualitative research design. And then, of course, a common challenge not only for case study but for other qualitative research design is the context generalizability or the limit is the number of samples or the number of cases. Okay, again, this is the case study. Now, I want you to identify kung bagay ba sa inyong objective ang case study. So, here's the feature. Do not forget the aim. Identify nyo muna yung aim ng inyong study. Saka, i-compare ninyo kung bagay siya for case study. Then, kung bagay siya, identify ninyo kung anong type ng case study, intent, the size, and the site. And then, follow the procedure. Uh, remember that in your research manuscript, you'll have to explain how you will conduct your research project. Kaya, nandito na yung procedure para mailagay ninyo doon.